Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. You haven't done that. Hello, I'm Dr. Matthew Morris, and uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about stress reduction. Stress reduction is one of those things that, uh, even for myself, sometimes is uh, a little bit hard to talk about. I love talking about the parts of uh, uh, weight loss that you know involve the cooking and the uh, you know plating techniques and the flavors and those kind of things and the exercise and being active and engaged, and those things are great. Um, however. If internal uh, stress, uh, anxiety, you know, depressive symptoms, those kind of things, um, it's difficult to really do some of these other things that really bring a lot of uh, meaning and value to our life. Uh, so today I want to talk about one strategy, um, you know, one technique that you can use to kind of really start to, you know, maybe uh, create just a little bit of separation between yourself um, and some of those stressors uh, in your life. I just invite you to uh, try and uh, go along if you like. You can either keep your eyes uh, open and just kind of uh, fixed on a specific spot or you can close your eyes, whichever you prefer is totally fine. I like to close my eyes, uh, so I'm sorry. The next two or three minutes you'll see me with my eyes closed. All right, so here we go. Let's start off first. Let's just notice our feet on the floor, our legs on the chair, We'll start off by just noticing our breath uh, as we breathe in through our nose into our lungs, our chest expanding, and then back out again. See if you can really observe your breath as though you've never really noticed it before, seen it before, almost as though you're just kind of a curious spectator or scientist noticing your breath. Just picture it going in through your nose, into your lungs, and then back out again. Okay, next I want to see if you can just notice the things that you hear around you. Here I can hear music outside. Cars driving by, doors closing. See if you can notice some of the subtle sounds, maybe birds in the background, building or doors creaking. Okay, now see if you can notice the things that you're seeing with your eyes. If you have your eyes open, see if you can notice just the different colors, reflections, the shades of color, the shapes. And see if you're able to just really kind of notice those things without necessarily having to name them or think about what they are. If your eyes are closed like mine, See if you can still notice how the light comes through the eyelids. You can see the different shades of color, the different shapes that are formed, how they move around and change. Now let's see if we can notice anything that we taste with our tongue. Notice the position of our jaw. Notice the position of our tongue and the mouth. Now 
Now let's just see if you're able to notice any thoughts or feelings or emotions. You may be thinking about things that you feel like you have to do, things that you've already done. Maybe things that you wish you would have done. Sometimes in these moments people have feelings of peacefulness. But sometimes it's actually anxiety or confusion or frustration. Whatever thoughts or feelings you might be having, to see if you're able to observe those, almost as though they're clouds in the sky. Not trying to change them, not trying to move them along. Just allowing them to be. Oftentimes we'll find ourselves drifting off thinking about other things that we need to do or should have done or have done or might get wrapped up in our emotion. And if that happens, that's great. It's okay. See if you can notice it. Come back to that part of yourself that's able to observe it again. Now let's see if we can just go back again. Notice our breath as it goes in through our nose. Into our lungs. And then back out again. Now if you have your eyes open, you can just remain open and look around, or if you had your eyes closed, open them up and look around the room. Look at the space around you. All right, good. So, uh, think about a little bit about how that felt. Uh, did you feel like you were able to create a little bit of separation between those uh, emotions and thoughts? Um, give yourself a little bit of space. Um, some, sometimes right away people feel oh, this kind of big broad space, notice the thoughts and emotions are kind of like clouds in the sky, um, and able to you know, make decisions from there. Um, sometimes you don't feel any separation and thinking about it is like, makes it almost feel worse. Um, and either way is okay. Uh, you know, doing a little bit of practice, kind of you know, practicing that a few times, uh, even if it's just once every day, couple days, uh, once a week. Um, and just taking just a couple of minutes to really, you know, see if you can kind of observe those kind of things. Uh, so that's all I have for today. Uh, I hope it's helpful. Um, feel free to let me know what you think and I uh, hope to see you again soon. All right. Thank you.